right hello viewers today i'm going to create a gui application so i'm going to use pyqt4 to execute this task um i'm also going to help i 1511 students because i've received loads of messages from different students actually uh, asking questions like how can we basically create an application using PyQt4 and they were explaining that they were facing lots of challenges so I'll be also trying to answer their questions in this video okay so the first thing is if you download PyQt4 and successfully install it in your computer you then need to make sure that you download um, Python version 3.4 because PyQt4 and Python version 3.4 goes together. If you didn't do so, then you might, or obviously you'll face some challenges. Okay, then apart from that, there are students who were saying they have already, you know, submitted, they've already downloaded their, they've already downloaded Python version 3.8, must they uninstall and then install the right one, which is Python 3.4, okay. The answer to that is no, you don't necessarily need to uninstall it. But all you need to do is to download Python version 3.4. So as you download Python version 3.4 and install it, then you'll, you'll have two versions of Python installed in your computer. So this is the case with me here. If so if I come to this search button and type something like IDEL, you can see that there is this Python 3.7 and the, there is this uh, GUI uh, Python integrated development environment and this one is pretty much for uh, graphic user interface which is for Python uh, 3, version 3.4 so that's all you have to do okay so let's just drive right into our designer so you need to after installing your PyQt4 then you need to just search for Qt design so for me it's just here so you can search for designer then you'll see this Qt design popping up now. then you just click there and then proceed so here as you can see we have got the templates or the forms this one as you can see is with buttons as you can see as I click there then you see that the widget actually changed if we, I click this one with the right buttons you can see the buttons are now at the right corner if you click this one is without button if you click this one is the main widget if you click this one is the widget so in this tutorial we're just going to go with dialogue without button because we want to create our own buttons so just click create click create then from there let's put this to the center and then try to increase its length the, this side so okay so you'll be using all this stuff which i can which is in the widget box so you'll be just dragging and dropping to the dialogue so what you're going to do here we need to answer this question too but i'm not going to provide the exact answer for question two but i want to do something pretty much similar to this so create an application using PyQt. the user must enter the names of the 10 Olympic sports that should be followed. This post name must be added to a list. The application interface must not include must include at least a label, an edit and a button, which is an add button. The list must be sorted alphabetically. But to make this video short, let me just make the application without considering that it it it, it has to alphabetically sort everything. So you are welcome to enhance your application with comments, messages, and graphics. Duplicates may not be entered on the list. An appropriate error message must be dis displayed. Okay, let's get back to this one. So we need to create something like this. We need to have a button like they said. We need so you can come to this push button and then just to drag and drop it somewhere here. Right. So you we also need a line edit so let's click here so we need this line edit to enter the name but in this case we are not going to enter the Olympic sport name but we are going to enter the like name of a country then 
we also want a label so you can drag and drop the label here so let's try to increase the size of our label like this so let's change the text of the label you double click then you change so it's going to be enter the country enter let's say name of the country uh, or let's say enter country name to make everything short here country name right if it's done just click on the in yeah right it's fixed if it's done just click anyway inside this dialog box right so as you can see here yeah, the person will enter here then click the button so we now need the list widget so you can go up and check for the list widget here is the list widget drag and drop it into the environment just like what i did here right so let's reduce the size and then here let's make increase our dialog box like this so you can design it in a way you want let's just put the button down here i always like to put it down here. so if you enter the name country the the name of a country here it should be entered in this widget in this list widget so let's change this to add to list yeah add to list then when it's done just click anyway inside the box so this is the interface actually so when you're done with this I just save your interface so save is let's just say test we are just testing here <laughs> so just to save all right so the next thing is to cancel this so okay i need to explain a little bit about this object inspector it's actually it's actually showing all the objects that they used with their respective classes so let's say you if you use if i click here you can see that it highlights that it's a label here you can change the name of this so that when you editing functionality with python uh, you will be understanding that this is for the the widget for ender country name this is for what so but by now let's just put everything simple and leave it like that so from there let's cut everything like this one so, do you want to save the changes yes let's just say yes all right so if you say open all right you can see that you can see that the i'm trying to check uh, test yeah the file that we have recently created is here so you can just copy this path you see like what i did here then just copy right then after copying just open your command prompt uh, here is my command prompt we want to convert it from dot ui to dot pi so that we can add functionality so here yeah, just type cd for change director then paste that what we have copied then hit the enter button as you can see the directory has been changed from here to here so from there we then just have to type pi uic4 space the name of the file is test then dot ui is in dot ui extension then space hyphen or space then testing dot pi dot pi then hit the enter button just after that as you can see if you go you, you if 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 this is the expected behavior so all it means is we have created another file which is now in .py extension so let's open our gui integrated development environment which is this one gui integrated development environment so if you say file then 
open so you need to know how to trace your your file exactly where you save it so as for me here is computer then local disk key then users here then pro book then lib i have to scroll down to lib here then from the side packages i'm just checking for side packages it's here then from side packages is python is pyqt4 then from pyqt4 i should be able to see a file yeah you see here is the file now in dot py extension so this is the cause so you don't have to do anything for, with with this site if you run this code uh, actually there is you'll just uh, get an empty shell nothing will happen no, i'm not used to care. let me close this one if you run this one you'll get an empty shell why because it doesn't have the cause that commands the in the environment to actually open a, an application so what you have to do then is to create is to run another python file is to run another python like calling the yeah a, a core python file right so let me just show you how to do it here let me do like this Okay, so there was a problem some some okay so let's like i said you don't have to like if you run this one you'll just get an empty shell okay so what you have to do is to call this uh so you have to open a new file like this then from that new file you need to i have already let me just paste what i have so i don't want to waste time by typing all this stuff this is why i put it in my clipboard so let's delete this so from then put the we want to import from what obvious from test from the file test we need to put import like everything then this is the cost that you have to do so if you can check this one is to import this one is to add functionality and this block is for opening the app so if it's like this it's sorted if you click run and save let me just say it's file then save as save as let's just say call test then hit the enter button then run this you should be able to see your app opening so here is your app so let's just put it back here so if you enter a name of a country like uh, let's say zambia you click the at least you see it's, it's been added you can say zimbabwe if you click here it has been added you can say south africa or south africa if you click here you can see it has been added you can say whatever whatever you want it will still work perfectly so as the you know the list became big you'll have this list selecting thing so that's all about this video